Out of all the BenQ projectors that I've reviewed on the channel, this one somehow managed to slip through the cracks. It's categorized as a business model projector, but can it work for your home theater or cinema? I believe the answer is yes. What about video games? Well, we're gonna take a look and find out right now in today's video review, so hang tight. Hey guys, so it's pretty common to see people with large flat screens set up in their living rooms these days, but it's not so common to see people having a movie theater inside their home. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys two products. One, a projector that's around $500, and two, a projector screen that it's only around $150. Under $700, you could get a movie theater set up in your home for less than you would probably pay for your next flat screen TV. Let's do it. So the projector we're looking at today is from BenQ, and this is the MW632ST, which stands for short throw. This works great for presentations in lit rooms, has a clear picture, and not a lot of space is required for a large display. Well, that sounds a lot like specs I would look for in a home theater, too. I think a lot of other people have realized this because, believe it or not, this thing has been flying off the shelves on Amazon recently. It's been selling out the last couple of weeks, probably due to the holidays right around the corner, but we got our hands on one, so let's take a look at the design. On the outer body, there's a really nice powder silver and white design made of mostly plastic, but this does have a little bit of weight to it. On the front side, there's a great big fish eye lens enabling the short throw ability and plenty of ventilation for fans to keep this bad boy from overheating. Up on the top side, you'll find two knobs above the lens, one for zoom and the other for focus. Also, there's a section of navigational buttons in case you ever lose the remote controller and need to operate this device in standalone mode. On the back side, there's a variety of inputs including RS-232, a USB port, a mini B USB port, two HDMI ports, two computer monitor ports for in and out, an S video port, component ports, and an audio in and out port. So this thing really could connect to just about anything. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hook it up to the PS4 and we'll check out a couple movies and games. This projector has a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1 and a brightness level of 3,200 lumens. In return, you can see it has very dark darks and bright brights, and the image clarity looks fantastic, even at 800p native resolution. This projector could easily be mistaken for a 1080p model. The bulb life on this projector will last up to 10,000 hours, so you can go well beyond the 5 year limit without having to replace the bulb. I have the projector about 8 feet away from the screen, producing 120 inches on the image. This is great because not a lot of people have gigantic viewing rooms and this projector will work in smaller rooms for those type of scenarios. Also it's 3D capable. For anyone thinking of watching Blu-ray movies with 3D glasses, this thing will have the action jumping out of the screen at you. Now that doesn't sound like an office projector to me. So let's see what the games look like when we run them on PS4. So far so good. The lag time doesn't feel bad at all and this was my major concern. However, while pushing buttons on my PS4 controller, the projector actually feels pretty in sync with what's going on with the controller. I honestly can't tell the difference between this and my day-to-day -day 4K projector when it comes to game lag. As you can see in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it looks amazing at 120 inches, and this is a great game by the way. If you haven't tried it, I highly implore you to give it a shot, but look at the details and graphics this projector is spitting out while I'm running this game. So to answer your question, yes, this projector can actually work great as a gaming projector and it'll also work fantastic for a home theater setup. Now it makes sense why people have been going crazy on Amazon for this projector lately. It's actually a really good model. So whether you plan on using this for your business or just home entertainment purposes, BenQ has delivered again. There's a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. I'd say hurry up and take a look before they sell out again and get ready for some big screen viewing for this holiday season. Season. If you enjoyed today's video, smack that like button down below, subscribe, stay tuned, we got more cool product reviews coming, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.